Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. In an attempt to improve my domestic life and strive towards my neo cottagecore aesthetic, I decided to make a historically inspired apron. My idea for this was to make an apron that I could use around the house for cooking, gardening, etc. But also for historical costumes if I wanted to. I had a lot of inspirations, but if you're looking for a clear guideline, the American Duchess Guide to Dressmaking has an apron in there. I bought one meter of plain linen in a natural color and some beeswax. I also got it into my head that I wanted to make the linen a little more resistant, particularly for things like washing the dishes. How do you make a fabric more impermeable in a sort of historically-ish way? I decided to try beeswax. It was a mistake. Stay tuned. My first step was to mark the length I desired. This was about knee length for me, although it could be longer for a more historical look. I then chopped this bit off and used the leftovers draped on my dress form to figure out the dimensions of the bit from. Once I had a guideline, I marked the dimensions, added seam allowance and cut it out. I then finger pressed the raw edges and turned them under twice, making a narrow quarter of an inch hem. This was stitched down by hand with a whip stitch and linen thread. I then used the same method to hem three edges of the large rectangle that is the main apron. I used my iron on the hemmed edges first, which makes sewing it down a lot easier. It was now time to tackle the beeswax. I had seen online that someone had used beeswax by painting it onto fabric and hence making the fabric water resistant. I melted down the beeswax. I then try to paint it onto the fabric. However, the beeswax cools down and solidifies incredibly fast, which means it doesn't spread evenly and it was nearly impossible to do a light layer like I wanted. So the fabric ended up really stiff in places and really splotchy and patchy. In a frustrated panic, I decided the way to go was to thin down the beeswax. Right? Wrong. Beeswax is wax. Wax and water do not mix. It exploded over my kitchen and ruined everything that came near it. Now, a reasonable person would have given up now and just cut a new bib front. However, I am incredibly stubborn and since I'd ruined my kitchen in the process, I would at least see this through. 
I read online that someone used a heat gun to melt down the wax that was already in the fabric, allowing you to see well where to add more and altogether helping it spread a bit better. So that's exactly what I did. It did help, I ended up applying a lot of wax to even it out, which meant the fabric was super stiff. At this point I was exhausted, angry and disappointed, but I decided to stick with it. I made a mark along the unhemmed top edge of the apron every quarter of an inch to make cartridge pleats. Then with a long length of linen thread I sewed a running stitch following the mark. added two more rows of stitches following the same method. The threads are then drawn up, gathering the fabric. Cartridge pleats are gorgeous but consume a lot of fabric, so I think a bit more than one single meter would look better. At this point I decided maybe this could be salvageable and I threw the apron into the washing machine. Three times! In the end the fabric was much more malleable and less like a ship's sail. I got some linen tape for the ties. I trimmed off the excess that had frayed off the pleated edge. I then cut one really long piece of tape, maybe around 2 meters, marked the middle and pinned that to the middle of the apron, then pinning along the rest, right sides together. To secure the pleats, I hand sewed every pleat to the ties with linen thread. Then I flipped the tie up and pinned on the bib front. This was sewn on with a back stitch. I then cut a smaller bit of tape and hid the raw edges under and pinned on top of the apron. I sewed it down by hand with the whip stitch. The last step was to add the neck loop. Remember that this has to be a little loose so you can get it over your head. I turned the raw edges under twice and sewed it by hand on the inside top of the bib. And that was it. For the first look, I just tie the apron normally. I can then take up the bib front and pin it in place for a more 18th century look. I can also use the neck loop for everyday use around the house. 
I'm really happy with it. This was a cute little project and a lot of <laughs> beeswax mistakes. Thank you for watching.